if 40% of a number is equal to two third of another number, what is the ratio of first number to second number? Before we solve this question, let's understand what percent is. As the name itself suggests, per cent. So cent means 100. For suppose, let's assume percentage of a number is given. Then how do you convert it to fractions? That is that number by 100. Similarly, if it is 25%, it is 25 by 100, 50%, it is 50 by 100 and so on. Now we shall try to solve this question. 40% of a number is equal to two third of another number. So let's take the two numbers as A and B. If 40% of A is equal to two third of B, this statement is sufficient to build an equation. Therefore, 40% of A is equal to 2 by 3 of B. That is 40 by 100 into A is equal to 2 by 3 of B. And this becomes 2A by 5 is equal to 2B by 3. And from this A by B becomes 5 by 3. That is A is to B is equal to 5 is to 3. So this is the ratio of first number to the second number. Let's solve another question. The fourth proportional of 5, 8, 15 is. Let's write 5, 8, 15 and take the unknown value as x. So this is a, b, c and d. If a, b, c, d are in proportion, then product of means is equal to product of extremes. From the question we can say that 5, 8, 15 and x are in proportion. Therefore, you can write it in the following way. Now product of means is equal to product of extremes. Therefore, 5x is equal to 15 into 8 and the value of x will be 24. This is how you can find out the fourth proportional. Or you can directly substitute in the formula that is D is equal to B into C by A type 3. The salaries of ABC are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. If the increments of 15%, 10% and 20% are allowed respectively in their salaries, then what will be the new ratio of their salaries? Let's write the given data. Let's assume A salary as 2x and that of B as 3x and C salary as 5x. It is given in the question that there has been an increment of 15% for A and 10% for B and 20% for C. So A's new salary will be 115 by 100 into 2x. This is because there has been an increase of 15% of his previous salary. And in case of B, it is 110 by 100 into 3x. And for C, 120 by 100 into 5x. So this on solving A's new salary will be 23 by 10x. And that of B's will be 33 by 10x. And that of C's will be 6x. Therefore, the new ratio of their salaries will be 23 by 10x is to 33 by 10x is to 6x. And this becomes 23 is to 33 is to 60. Type 4. Divide or distribute questions. A sum of money is to be distributed among A, B, C, D in the proportion 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3. If C gets rupees 1000 more than D, what is B's share? Let's solve this. Let's assume the share of A as 5x and that of B as 2x and C as 4x and for D it is 3x and in the second statement it is given as C gets rupees 1000 more than D. So C is getting 1000 rupees more than D. Therefore from this 4x is equal to 3x plus 1000, 4x minus 3x is equal to 1000 and from this x is equal to 1000. So this is the value of x. So what is asking for? What is B's share? 
So if you know the value of x, it is easy to find the value of b share. So b share is equal to 2 into 1000, which is equal to rupees 2000. This is the answer. Let's solve another question. A sum of rupees 1300 is divided among P, Q, R and S such that P share by Q share is equal to Q share by R share is equal to R share by S share is equal to 2 by 3. Find P share to solve this. Let's take P as 2x and Q as 3x respectively. Now let's try to understand the value of R and S we can write q by r is equal to 2 by 3, isn't it? I have written it from the question here. From this, we can write r as 3 by 2 q. As we have taken q as 3x, the value of r becomes 9x by 2. Similarly, r by s is equal to 2 by 3. From the question, s can be written as 3 by 2 r and we know that r is equal to 9x by 2 therefore s value becomes 27x by 4 now p is equal to 2x q is equal to 3x r is equal to 9x by 2 and s is equal to 27x by 4 and it is given as the sum of rupees 1300 is divided among p q r and s therefore p plus q plus r plus s is equal to 1300 from this 2x plus 3x plus 9x by 2 plus 27x by 4 is equal to 1300 and this on simplification we will be getting x is equal to 80. Now this is the value of x but in the question is asking us to find out p share having achieved the value of x p share will be 2 into 80 which is 160 rupees. This is the value of P share. Keen observation and understanding of questions plays a key role in solving these problems. All the best.